Hey guys, Ultimate DIY Guy here back with another video and today we are going to be replacing our valve cover gasket. If you see here it's seeping all over the place. You want to stop, you want to get this fixed before it gets too bad. It'll leak all over the motor. You could you could get oil all over your uh camshaft position sensors that can ruin your cams. You can get your serpentine belt wet. And most dangerous is the oil can seep on your on your oil i mean on your exhaust manifold and cause a fire so let's get this replaced as soon as possible and uh first things first we got to start removing everything that holds the valve cover on so let's get busy now let's start unhooking these things around here hold on show you a little trick loosens it up a little bit Let me see. It's like a it's like a gator claw. Try to pull it out. There you go. That's weird. And this too. There you go. Wires are pretty damn tight. Now this motherfucker gotta come up next. For some reason we couldn't get these tabs out, so I had to just pry up until they broke. Move those to the side. I think we have enough play that we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we got enough play. See the oil all through it. Okay, no later. All right, next up, start breaking these. That's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's like fifteen of them, sixteen of them. Yeah, instead of doing that, what you do is like this. See what I mean? Oh, yeah. You don't want to damage it. You don't want to break it. It's only plastic. Uh, it's disconnected. That's why. See that right there. Okay. That's all. Move this right here. Yeah, try to move this wire about the way. Now you should be able to pull it up. Oh, okay, good, good, good. If you look at that right there, it's broken. So it's leaking right into the spark plugs. It's broken here. Probably hard as a brick, right? It's hard as hell. That's what happens when the rubber starts to go bad. Good, good. Yeah, pull that little piece off. Right. right here. Just do a quick little inspection. All right, every I'll do this. Okay, now. 
this ain't perfect but this is just to make sure that it stays tacky you don't really have to put gasket maker on the inside of the valve cover so let's look at it like this hold on Usually, some cars, the timing chain cover has like a little groove in it, but this is still really sealed, still good, so I don't have to put anything here. I love that. I love how tight that chain is. All right, let's drop it in, flip it over, and try to tuck it under. Because remember these hooks right here? Yep. Try to bring it up under. None of these things are falling out, correct? Okay, hold on. And then, be sure. Mm-hmm. And check that gasket all around. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Your boy got skills. Okay, I wanted to make one small side note when you guys install the gasket try to make sure you're looking underneath of the gasket when you put the gasket in because the gasket kind of has to hook under those wires and i'm gonna draw a line right here that little cam bolt right there in the back if you're not paying attention that cam bolt can actually grab the gasket a little bit and pull it out of place that was the mistake that was made by us the first time we put the gasket on and we had to take it back up and I had to make sure that I put it on and I looked underneath of that because that bolt sits a little bit high compared to where the wires are. And if you're not paying attention, the, uh, the bolt will catch the gasket a little bit. Before we start torquing everything down, you can see, see that nice blue all over. Everything is seated properly. That is amazing. Can't really see down there, but I'm pretty sure. Can you see across? I mean, can you see the blue going all the way across? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. One fourth inch. I'm gonna say don't use a three eighths, 78 inch pounds. Uh, what's that divided by 12? What? 80 divided by 12, what's that? Hold this. Quick answer, I don't know. 12, 24, 36, 48. It's like seven. 60. Um, what's that, 72? So, six, six it's like a little bit under eight foot pounds, I think. 78 inch pounds, though. You work, I don't have the proper sequence completely, but you always start in the middle and you work your way out. What's up, bro? First of all, I'm a kind. Remember, I asked you, or we can do. About Malibu? Oh, for everybody. Wait, wait, wait. Did you do that one already? Yeah. You can either, we can do All right. Bye. I actually do like to do a second pass. I'm going to skip over that part. We're going to do a second pass just to make sure everything's nice down properly. Sometimes, start in the middle again. With gaskets, sometimes you can, uh, as they seal, they can back off a little bit. So we're just going to go over it a second time and then we'll start putting everything back on.
these in. Remember we broke these, but it's okay. They sit in here like this. They're not moving anywhere. Plus with this on top of it, no gay. No gay. Um, this no piece gay. right here, nice. I'll show you in a second. I'm gonna put this on, just like that. A little plastic right there, snaps in right there. Put this in, that's closed, that's closed. I put this right here, it's right in place. Right Agenda. All right, now, <laughs> um, give the car at least an hour, at least an hour for the gasket maker to cure so everything seals properly. Don't just fire it up and start going. You want this seal to, uh, to basically glue to the, to the valve cover. So thanks for watching you guys till next time out.